The guiding principles for me in transitioning unexpectedly to entirely online course content were flexibility and consistency or predictability. Because we had already begun the course with a certain structure and format and expectations, it was really critical to continue exactly that as far as can be imitated online. And in addition, provide as many other ways to access and interact with the course content and course staff as possible. In lecturing, continuing with our original format implied several things. Writing in real time on a Blackboard analog and for students to be able to see not just the current page or board, but several previous boards. It was also very important for there to be live questions and answers with a minimum of burden. This meant taking questions in any format via chat, via voice, via virtual hands raised. And I had a wonderful TA doing question and answer via text as well. As well as reproducing all of the key features of in-person lectures and office hours as much as possible, the other guiding principle of flexibility meant making the course content as accessible as possible in as many formats as possible. For our course, that included recording lectures, holding alternate office hours and question time for people in other time zones, using online Q&A forums and small group discussions, and most importantly, listening to student feedback on what this specific class needed in this specific time to make remote learning a success.